today it is a chilly very very chilly morning in Oaxaca unfortunately today we have to say goodbye to this beautiful view we leave today where we've been staying kind of central in Oaxaca uh, for Day of the Dead and now we're moving not too far maybe 10 minutes away from here we're gonna get to a really cool place um, a little bit off the beaten path here and we're just kind of taking in the view today we had a nice slow breakfast we packed up just waiting to check out now. It's, uh, it's a little sad. We're gonna miss this cute little place. Just to show you kind of what this place is all about. It's like a, an old farmhouse way up on the top of a hill here. I don't know what the story is, the history is, but it seems like it was some rich person's mansion way back in the day. It's got this little courtyard in the middle. So they're kind of reconstructing it here. And every little corner has a little room in it. It's really cool. Um, so I think you know, right now it's a little bit rough. <laughs> I think we got a good deal on it now, but maybe in the future it's going to end up being some really expensive place to stay because this view is worth more than what we paid for it. So yeah, I just thought it was really cool to show you what it, it looks like now. Imagination kind of runs wild with what it used to be or what it used to look like. Very cool. been staying on that middle balcony there that was the roof I was just showing you but you come down here and there's a little main area in here common area and of course the best part Yeah, it's a really special place. Kind of want to see what it looks like, you know, five, ten years from now when it's all built up and done. But we're really enjoying the privilege to stay here at such a low cost right now. It's a little bit of like a resort meets hostel vibe. It's really unique. But anyway, we're off to our next place. We'll show you what it looks like there. The one thing we weren't aware of before we got here is how unreliable the taxi apps are here. Um, there's two that are suggested online. Neither of them seem to be working. It shows a lot of taxis in the area but none of them are actually accepting the, the ride. So we're just kind of standing out here on the street hoping a, oh there's a taxi right there. We're hoping one comes by that uh, is empty. Yeah that didn't work. The taxi that Two taxis came by and they both had people in them. I'm gonna try and go back up the stairs and see if our host can call us a taxi maybe. Okay, we have secured the taxi. <laughs> yeah, it's a bumpy one. got into our Airbnb that we're going to be in for about a month in Oaxaca. We just walked in the door and here's the little living room. Love the little covers on the couch for cleanliness. You know I love that. We have a little microwave, a fridge. We have water which is super important. Giant jug and I imagine they're going to replenish it. So colorful and vibrant little kitchen, little dining area with little chips that they have. For us. We're gonna go up the stairs together. Hope I don't trip. I do appreciate a banister. Our last place just had stairs with no banister, which was a little scary. Oh, I didn't expect this. Oh, it's like closed up. Dun dun dun. Mm -hmm. So let's see what this is. Oh, this is the bedroom. Wow. I love it's the so pink. Clean. It's so clean. It smells so good. We're gonna have proper photos of the day here. Even a lot of it may be in pajamas when we're home. Look at how clean. Oh my goodness. 
this is our view. Bright sunshine coming through. There's a yoga mat inside. <laughs> yes! We will use that. And lots of storage we're gonna unpack fully today. And so this is the bathroom. Okay, oh, some open air. Bright. We have a little robe. <laughs> Just one to share. Just one. <laughs> Can both be in it. And then, oh, hair dryer. Big old mirror. This is so strange. It feels like a home. This is great. Well, that's the tour. Today's just like a checkout, check-in day and unpacking. So, you know, we didn't put a lot of effort into how we look yeah. or anything <laughs> like that. Travel day, sure. It's a travel day. Gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. But this is just an example of what you can get if you just go a little bit outside of the city center. Yeah. Like our space has quadrupled. Yeah. Like I, this is livable. The last space didn't, I mean, you saw it, didn't even have space by the sink to put our stuff down or mm -hmm. toiletries or anything. It's so hard to unpack. Right. But with that view, you know, you yeah. pick and choose what you want. And we were like steps away, like 10 minutes away from the downtown center. But this is like... Oasis vibes. Oh my gosh. I'm Look so at this excited. little fan. Oh my gosh, it's so little. Okay, gotta go. Goodbye. Type 10 pack. <laughs> oh my gosh, another robe. <laughs> oh, it looks like my size too. Look how pretty this complex is. So all these are renovated bungalows. I think mango tree up here, lime tree right outside our door, and a neighbor dog. You okay there? I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> that was my <laughs> trying to contain my emotion space. There's a hotel in the front here with a restaurant, and then these condo type places are in the back here. It was a little confusing when we booked it. We were a little nervous we were going to get one of these old hotels or catfished a little bit, but. The Airbnb host was so kind and she actually texted us a video of like walking into the whole place and, and we were uh, relieved. But yeah, it's really nice. There's a restaurant right here. All right, we're on search for food and some groceries so we can officially unpack and we'll make our first meal tonight and just settle in. And if anyone's wondering about the safety around here, um, Literally two doors down, there's a preschool. And there's so many restaurants around. There's um, a gym about five minutes away, a supermarket just across the road here. Just over that way is actually a university campus. It's like other than being or having downtown close by, this is actually a more convenient location, I would argue, because there's a lot more livable day-to-day -day things around. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it seems like there's gonna be a lot more local food and things like that here. So I'm so stoked. Yeah. And a Domino's pizza right across the street from uh -oh. me. And look, here's the grocery store right there. We have chips, we have oil, uh, olive oil, veggie pasta, a little Coke. There was no um, oat milk, so we had to get regular milk. Pray for us. Condensed milk, yogurt, garlic, onion, two kinds, eggs, bananas, <laughs> broccoli, bread, beans. We're gonna make a little bean salad. Uh, peas, corn, tomato, avocado, just some instant noodles to try, uh, margarine, cucumber, lemon, cheese. I think that's it. So as you do, once you've done groceries and you're too tired to cook, we got half a chicken, potatoes, onions, tortillas, rice and salsa. That was like a little combo deal for 90 pesos. Um, so yeah, we're gonna eat now and cook another day. This chicken is so good. So good. So good. It was like just these long rotisseries of full chickens just like glistening and like calling our name and it smells so good. And we're like, yep, that's that's happening. And sure enough, it, it's so good. It's so spicy, flavorful. Mm. We'll take you guys along through this month and see what this neighbor's got to offer. See you next time. See, I told you.